In this video, we'll show off some potential drafting deliverables for our tunnel design. We're going to work with a tunnel we created earlier. It has two tunnels in a single corridor. So the first thing we want to do for drafting is go into the drafting tab and under the sheets group, we want to open the drafting templates to import a drafting template into TBC. In this case, we'll be using this feet archd plan and profile template. So we'll go ahead and drag and drop that in. We can expand this and we see we have cross sections, plan and profiles, as well as plan sheets. So we'll work with plan and profile first. We can click on it and then right click on it and we want to edit it. It's going to ask us to assign a corridor to this sheet. We have the option of using a road corridor or a tunnel corridor. In this case, we want to use our tunnel corridor. It will open up our sheet view here. And this is essentially the same options you have for profile drafting with road corridors. The only addition is this tunnel heading here. We can go ahead and expand that. And we can see we have both of our tunnels there as well as the ability to draw them. We can go ahead and draw them both in. You'll notice the second one we don't see because they are in parallel. So we can just leave with one for now. We can also see we have our tunnel meshes in the plan view. We have a couple options under the tunnel. We have a dimension. You can see it here. We have a length of 2,223. We can turn this off and on. If we have it on, of course, we have options to color it, um, assign it to a layer, a line style. We have a label here, so we can just go ahead and edit that and we can give some annotation we can write length equals we can put a unit there at the end so you can see that there now a bit more descriptive going back to our tunnel itself we have some options here for how it's drawn um, we have a boundary you can see there's this white line we can turn that off or on we also have some options to draw the fill of our tunnel. We can change the color. Uh, we can give it a magenta. We can also give it a hatching if we want. Uh, we'll give it a slant. So essentially all your grid options, uh, you have options to edit those. Those are the same as you would have had with roading. Nothing new here but we do have the ability to draw in our tunnel profile. Once you're done editing your profile sheet, we can close the edit tab and we can go ahead and build those sheets out. You'll see we have the overlay here of what the sheets cover and you can open a new sheet view if you want to view them after the fact. You should see the same thing that you created in your previous edits. See sheet two there as well.